Good morning again. Today we are working on addition and subtraction. And I wanted to take some time to show you a couple strategies that you can use if you are doing addition and subtraction with smaller numbers like we do here in kindergarten. So this is a little worksheet that we use in kindergarten that has both addition and subtraction. And the first thing that I want to remind you about is that we know which one we are doing if we are adding or subtracting based on the symbol in the middle. So if you see a plus sign that looks like this, that means we are taking one number and putting it together with another number. We are adding it together. So we're taking one number with another number and we're adding it together. That means we get the plus sign. So first we're going to work on our adding strategy. Last time what we did was we drew dots for both numbers and then we counted the dots to see how many we had all together. But today we are going to save ourselves some time and I'm going to show you a shortcut. This shortcut is going to make you so happy. Are you ready? Okay, here it comes. When you do this shortcut, what you get to do is you find which number is larger or which one is the greater number. So we're going to look at these two numbers, and I would love to know which one is greater. Everybody, which one? Four. four is greater. So I'm going to circle the four. Then I'm going to look at the other number, and I'm only going to draw dots for the other number. I don't have to draw dots for both. Well, this one's really easy because we don't have any dots to draw for the zero because zero means there's no dots. So if I have four and I don't add any more, how many do I have all together? I have four, so I'm going to put a four in the box. Well, what do you think we should do if we have two numbers that are the same? What should we do if we have two numbers that are the same? Yes. I could circle both, but that would be kind of confusing because I think that's a great idea. I'm going to circle the first number, and then I'm going to draw dots for the second number. So how many dots do I have to draw for this number? Two. two. Then I'm going to practice counting on. I say the number that I circled first. So everybody, what number? Two. two. Then I count on. Say it with me. Two, two three, three, four. So two plus two equals four. four. I'm going to do one more, and I'm not going to do these two because we kind of practice one that's like that up here, but I'm going to go down to one that actually does have a bigger number. So let's look at this equation right here. Which number is bigger? Three is larger. Three is the greater number. So I'm going to circle the three, and then I'm going to draw dots for the other number. How many dots do I draw? Two. Two. I draw two dots. Now I count on, and I start by saying the number that's circled. So count on with me. Here we go. Three, four, five. Three plus two, or two plus three, equals five. All right, that was a really short, quick, easy video to help you to learn an easy math strategy that you can use when you are adding. So I hope you enjoyed that.